This is a bilateral subclavian artery duplex in a patient with brachial blood pressure gradient. We begin at the proximal left subclavian artery, which demonstrates a biphasic flow pattern and velocity of 125 centimeters per second. At first glance, this may be considered normal. However, when we look at the waveform characteristics, we can see that the upstroke of the waveform is somewhat delayed with a rounded and slightly turbulent peak. This generally indicates a more proximal obstruction, which we are not visualizing. At the distal subclavian artery, we can see biphasic flow again, as well as in the axillary artery. In the left vertebral artery, we can see a biphasic flow pattern with the beginning of systole here and a flow reversal, which then comes back to the baseline and antegrade again. This is generally consistent with a more proximal obstruction and can be considered a partial subclavian steel. On the right, we see the biphasic flow again demonstrated. However, we notice that the acceleration time is much faster here with a very sharp peak as compared to what we saw on the left side. And the axillary arter artery demonstrates the same normal flow pattern for a peripheral artery. The right vertebral artery has a low resistance flow pattern, which is also considered normal because it's taking blood to the brain. So this is antegrade flow in the right vertebral compared to the biphasic to fro flow pattern we noted on the left vertebral artery. So findings in this patient are normal on the right side with demonstration of partial subclavian steel syndrome on the left.